Hello, I'm Marie, and welcome to Fine Art of Cooking. Today, we'll be making a popular Thai dish called stir fried beef and basil. You will see this dish on the menu of nearly all Thai restaurants. It's incredibly tasty and a must-try item. Are you ready? Let's start cooking. Starting out, we want to cut and marinate the beef. But before putting meat on this clean cutting board, our Julian cut half a bell pepper and set it aside. Now for the beef. This one pound sirloin steak is a tender cut and great for stir frying. I've put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes to make it just slightly firm. That's because partially frozen meat is easier to slice. It's important to cut across the grain of the meat to increase the tenderness of the finished dish. Slide the beef about one inch of an inch thick. Now we'll marinate this with half a teaspoon of baking soda which is used as a meat tenderizer. A tablespoon of soy sauce and two teaspoons of cornstarch. Blend thoroughly so the marinade soaks through the meat. Set it aside for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, let's cut some basil from my earth garden. What I have here is Thai basil. The traditional recipe for this dish calls for holy basil. Since I only have this Thai basil, that's what I'll use. In my opinion, there is not much difference between the two varieties. They both have a similar licorice light flavor, except that holy basil is spicier. This has been washed, so we'll just pluck the leaves off the stems. We'll use 4 ounces for this recipe. Next, we'll pile some garlic and chili together to make a paste. I'm using 2 garlic cloves and 4 bird's eye chilies. To me, 4 of these are about medium heat, but adjust it to your own taste. I know it's more work pounding ingredients than just chopping them. But trust me, this is one secret of Thai cooking. You'll be surprised by the intensity of flavor this releases. It really ramps up the taste. Our final preparation is to make a stir fry sauce. In a cup, mix together 3 tablespoons of water, One teaspoon sugar, two teaspoons of cornstarch, one tablespoon of fish sauce, along with one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Mix it well and then set it aside. It's finally time for the fun part. Turn on the stove and set the flame between medium to high. Heat 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil. Tossing the beef. Separate the slices so they cook evenly. Once the undersides are brown, turn them over to do the other side. When the beef is about 80% cooked, dish it up and set it aside for the tan bean. Before the next step, I'll first wipe off the oil left in the wok. Turn on medium to high flame again. 
Heat one tablespoon of oil and drop in the garlic and chili paste. Stirring constantly so it doesn't burn. As soon as this releases its aroma, add the bell pepper. The red slices are mainly for brightening up our dish, so we don't need a lot. Cook it for only about 10 seconds and then toss in the beef. Mix it up and then pour in the stir-fry sauce. Stir and mix it all evenly. As soon as the sauce has thickened, pour in the basil, but only for about 10 seconds. Just long enough to wilt it. Turn off the heat and play immediately. It is customary to serve the dish with steamed jasmine rice and a Thai style fried egg. Thai style means frying it with enough oil to almost reach the top of the egg. Cook on medium to high heat to scotch the bottom so it's crispy. But leave the yolk soft. Very cooked. For a finishing touch, garnish the dish with fresh basil. Here we go. Time for a taste. The beef is tender and extremely aromatic. Wow! Do you enjoy Thai food? If so, how spicy do you like it? Please give me your input below. Thank you for joining me today. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe.